Hello and welcome to the OpenMX video tutorial series. In this video, we will be covering a latent regression structural equation model and some associated terminology. This is a structural equation model, specifically a multiple latent regression. In this model, there are three latent variables, x, y, and z, and each latent variable has three indicator variables. What is different about this model from previous examples in this video series is that we now have single-headed arrows in between some of the latent variables, indicating latent regression. Before we begin modeling this SEM in OpenMX, we should be familiar with these commonly used terms, measurement model, structural model, exogenous, and endogenous. The measurement model portion of an SEM is the part of the model that relates the latent variables to the manifest variables, thus identifying the latent variables. The structural model is the portion of the model that relates the latent variables to each other. This is the part of the model that most researchers would be interested in, but the validity of this part of the model is based heavily on how well the latent variables are identified by the measurement model. Latent variables can be exogenous or endogenous. Exogenous variables are variables that have no single-headed arrow pointing into them. This means that the variance parameter is an estimate of the variance of that latent variable. Now let's attempt this model in OpenMX. First we load OpenMX and inspect our data. We have stored the names of our manifest variables into an object called manifests and the names of our latent variables into an object called latents. Notice that we have three manifest or indicator variables for each of our latent variables. Now we can build our model. The A matrix includes all single-headed arrows in our model. This includes the factor loadings as well as the latent regressions. Notice that we fixed the first factor loading from each latent variable to 1. We have also freed paths for our latent regressions. We will label these latent regressions BXZ and BYZ. Next is our S matrix. This matrix contains all the error variances of our manifest variables as well as the variances of our latent variables in the error variance of our latent endogenous variable, z. We then set our filter matrix and our means matrix. Now let's run this model and its associated reference models. The model appeared to run without any errors. Now we can inspect our latent regression paths. It appears our path from X to Z is fairly strong, but our path from Y to Z is fairly weak. We may want to test that. However, the overall fit of our model as it stands is pretty good. To test the significances of the latent regressions, we engage in model comparison. Here I have made three models. In each of these models, I have changed the A matrix to reflect three different hypotheses. A model for which X does not have a path to Z, a model for which y does not have a path to z, and a model for which neither of those paths exists. Looking at the fit of these models, we see that our model got significantly worse by dropping the path from x to z. This indicates that that path is important for us to model. However, setting the path from y to z equal to zero does not significantly reduce the fit of our model. Thus, there may be no relationship between our latent variable y and our latent variable z. Thanks for watching.